Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life for Pets. Yes, I know this is not a shrimp and this is gonna be a shrimp video. I just thought that I would show Riley while I sort of did the introduction. He's had so little YouTube time that I thought that um, I would just put him at the front of this video. As you can see, he loves to play musical statues, especially with food that he doesn't like to eat. All right, let's get on with the video. So today I'm gonna do about shrimp and what we feed our shrimp I asked on a live stream um, a few weeks back what you guys wanted to see what videos you wanted me to cover and shrimp videos came up quite a bit along with beta fish videos so I have plans to do videos on both topics so today is the shrimp and I want to talk about what we feed our shrimp now there are many many different foods on the market when it comes to shrimp and so there are a lot of choices this is what we feed ours and they seem to do really well on it because we are always having an explosion of babies and things like that so let me show you the foods that we feed and then I'll talk about foods that could actually be in the tank for the shrimp without adding food to the tank so I'm going to start with the food I feed the most and as you guys know if you follow our channel we love the Rapashi gel food products. So this is the one that I feed the most and that is the Soylent Green. So so easy to make. You can make big batches, small batches. If you also have snails they absolutely love this food as well along with any fish that you have. So this food is a good all round food to feed your whole tank but our shrimp absolutely love this food and the good thing with it is you can actually add in other items into the food if you want to bulk it out more or just basically give a bit more variety within the food the other things that we generally will feed are the algae wafers and right now I have been using the Hikari however I have just also got some of the Omega 1 and I do have to say that I think that I am preferring this over over the hikari just basically because I feel that the ingredients are a lot better so that is a new one that I have added we do also do the hikari shrimp cuisine we do green beans as well so like I say there are a lot of different things that you can actually feed them now within the tank there are foods that actually are already in the tank if you have a good setup for them so a good example of that would be if you have choya wood in your aquarium this gets a biofilm on it and the shrimp will then eat it so that is another source of food in the tank also algae so as you can see there on the left at the back there is a shrimp eating the algae on the back of the tank and so we tend to sort of just let algae build up along the back wall and usually on the tank divider because this tank actually is a divided tank the other thing that they will eat as well is if they have a malt which you can see on the moss ball there just sort of on the left of the screen they will also eat that as well so it's important to keep that in there and not actually take it out because like I say they will actually go ahead and eat it also having plants in the aquarium is a good idea because they will eat the algae off them they'll also eat any microorganisms that are in there as well so that is very very important very often with shrimp tanks People will go ahead and clean all the algae off and they, you know, at the end of the day, let's face it, none of us like the look of algae in a tank. However, for a shrimp tank, it is actually quite important because they will graze on it as well. So let's go ahead and talk about how often you feed your shrimp and that is going to look different really for everybody. So I don't want to give a rule where I say, oh, you should feed your shrimp every day and you should feed them this amount it doesn't really work like that with shrimp because it really does depend on what you have going on in the tank and when I say that I'm talking about whether you've got plants that are covered in algae or whether you've got a lot of driftwood in there or choya wood or any of those things which I will actually leave links to what I can in the description box below for you guys to take a look at but I would say that for on the whole for us I feed our shrimp only tanks 
at least every other day sometimes every third day it really does depend what I do find is the shrimp that are in this tank here they will need feeding near enough every day because there doesn't grow a great deal of algae in the tank and there's a lot of shrimp in here however the shrimp in the blue tank i only feed about every third day and the way you can tell whether you should be feeding more or less is if the shrimp do not come to the food and as you can see here we have food and it hasn't been touched this tells me that i really didn't need to feed this tank today so i have left it in because we do have have just a few baby snails but I'm not going to leave it in for sort of all day and overnight or anything like that I will take it out so that it doesn't foul the water up so it really does depend you need to sort of work that out for yourself test it out if they're not coming to feed what you're feeding them then maybe there's enough in the tank to sustain them most of our shrimp tanks I do need to feed and the ones that have snails in then they do get fed near enough every day I usually do not feed maybe once or twice a week even in the snail tanks but on the whole with most of the shrimp tanks I do feed every day like I say the blue one not so much and that's just because there is so much algae in that tank and right now there are not many shrimp in there we have had babies which I'm so thrilled about so hopefully we will start sort of building that population up one of the other videos I have been asked a lot to do is also the breeding shrimp so I will do a video on that and then another video I've got asked to do an awful lot is keeping beta fish with shrimp and as many of you know we have shrimp in most of our beta fish tanks so I am going to talk about that as well and how it is possible but sort of what I feel we've done to make it even more possible all right guys I do hope this was helpful let me know in the comments box below if you keep shrimp and what shrimp you have and what you feed your shrimp don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell thanks for watching and we'll see you next time